official Major League ball. You go to your local sporting goods store, you could have one for about six bucks. You go to your local ballpark, and some fans will do just about anything to get one. just about anything to get a ball. But at Wrigley Field, when the visiting team hits a home run, fans in the bleachers will throw the ball back. Of course, years ago, everybody threw the baseball back. You had to. The ushers came and took it from you. Until Reuben Berman came along. The Polo Grounds, May 16th, 1921. The Giants hosted the Reds. The Giants won at 7 to 4, but the hero of the day turned out to be a fan, Reuben Berman. He caught a foul ball and refused to give it back. So the Giants refunded his money and threw him out. He then sued the Giants for $20,000. The judge ruled that Reuben did not act disorderly and ungentlemanly and awarded him $100. After the Reuben Berman incident, the evidence seems to indicate that the Giants changed their policy, possibly for public relations reasons, possibly because it was becoming increasingly more difficult to get the fans to cooperate with that custom. And so, beginning about the middle of the 1920s, the Giants and all other major league clubs gradually switched to a policy that allowed fans to keep any baseball hit into the stands. And that became known as Reuben's Rule. Reuben passed away in 1976, but his nephew in Los Angeles with the honest-to-goodness name of Len Berman would like the Hall of Fame to recognize his uncle in some way. The point he always made, and he told his story to the family many times, he was interested in having the fans retain the baseball. I think it's the only sport in America where the fans can actually go away from, the, from watching a ball game with a souvenir of the game that was in the ball game. And you'd like the Hall of Fame to have some kind of an exhibit? Or? Well, it would be nice if the Hall of Fame acknowledged this. And I think they are about to do so. It does seem apparent that he contributed to, to a change of uh, direction on the part of the Giants. Perhaps other incidents as well uh, played a role in that. Uh, but Rubin's rule, I think, is uh, now firmly established in American baseball uh, history. And, Probably every boy that ever went to the park with a glove owes Reuben Berman a debt of gratitude. Welch out of a stretch, and a strike two pitch is hit foul off first base out of play. Uncle Reuben didn't just help little boys. He aided those without gloves, some who need help. Describe the play, will you? Plow ball came up here, and I jumped out of my seat, knocked my hot dog down, and grabbed it, fought with his glove, hit my finger, and bounced in this girl's lap. In your lap? Yeah. It just kind of landed here. I couldn't do anything about it. I just grabbed onto it. But not every foul ball lands in somebody's lap. When the pitch is fisted foul this time. And a fine catch up there. The fine catch was turned in by actor Ed Nelson. We had one come up about six weeks ago, and zap, it came up. I said, honey, this is it. I reached up, I said, I better try and catch it. <laughs> and I did. So the next time somebody catches a foul ball and keeps it, he has... Reuben Berman to thank. Thank you, Uncle Reuben. <laughs> Uncle Reuben, thank you. Thank you. This is Len, no relation to Reuben Berman in Los Angeles. Thank you, Lenny. Lenny, a busy man this week.